and welcome along uh, today on the abandoned forest we're going to be doing a little bit of a hunt uh, and I'll show you why in a moment when we get round here um, but we're in the Unimog we've got uh, the Herbist flatbed trailer on the back and this is because uh, if I just come over here we'll jump out I show you something. So when we uh, when we first got on here, when we brought all our equipment up, uh, this was already here. Now, as you can see, it's a water trailer, a solid uh, fertilizer, uh, solid fertilizer spreader, sorry, and a whole pile of front loader equipment, uh, but no tractor, no tractor at all. So my question has always been, well, where's the tractor? Where's the the bit of kit that goes with this? So, I've been asking around a bit and discovered that there is a tractor. Uh, it's apparently been left out somewhere on the mountain uh, in, a, in an old shed. So, we're going to go and take the Unimog here and we're going to drive out and we're going to try and find it. Uh, we're gonna, uh, if we can, we're going to see if it starts and see if we can load it onto the flatbed. Uh, because that would be fantastic if that's true. Uh, and if that's a possibility at all. So, let's have a look. What have we got out this way? Well, of course, we've been working out this way. That's the cycle path on the rail old railway track that way. That's a field up there. Uh, this is where we've been working. There are lots of old sheds and things that sort of dotted about the mountain. Uh, from when it was a lot, well... A lot more well used because obviously it's been abandoned these days. So oh, we've got a lump to get over here. So we're just going to keep going around the roadway, follow it round, and see if we can uh, come across anything. Oh, uh, what's that? What's that actually through the trees there? That looks like. Oh, it's a bit of a squeeze down this roadway. But that is a shed. What's this? Is there anything in here? Oh, wow. What's that? That looks to me like a tractor. Okay, let's just pull past it a little bit so that we can load it onto the trailer if we need to. Or if we can, of course. Uh, I'm just going to fold the trailer down in preparation because I want to try and get it on here. All right, let's jump out. There we go. Yeah, that should load on. But yeah, what do we have here? So we have a Ford 7840. Uh, looks a bit beat up and a bit old, but uh, yeah, and a bit dirty. Well, very dirty. Uh, but yeah, looks looks like a good tractor. I wonder if the door's open. Oh, and the keys in the ignition as well. Fantastic. Uh, 21 litres of fuel left in it. So, yeah, not a lot of fuel in this. Um, will it start? Let's give it a go. Oh, almost. No, still. Oh, come on. Oh, that almost made it. Ah, right. One more go. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. And it and it seems to be moving. I don't want to drive it too far. I don't want to do too much damage to it. Doesn't seem to be completely seized up. But I think it probably needs a, uh, a full workover in our workshop. But yeah. I don't think this has been moved recently. It is struggling a little bit. It's not, it's not itself. I can't tell you that much. Right, come on. Up onto the trailer. So much so, actually, it's working hours uh, seems to be broken. So we'll have a look at the electronics as well. But it's, yeah. It is struggling a little bit in the snow. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's get it on. There we go. Right. I don't want to run it for any longer than that is necessary. 
But yeah, that's it onto our trailer. Fantastic. Right, so we will fold up the trailer. Perfect. Uh, close our door. Right, we need to reverse up the hill because that... Apparently there's a... I think if I look on the map... Yeah, there's supposed to be a roadway across the ravine there. It does not exist. I'm guessing a bridge fell in or something like that a while ago. But yeah, we'll head back the way we came. Just need to be a little bit careful to make sure it doesn't fall off. I wonder if we can lock it onto the trailer. Uh, no. There's no locking on this, so just have to be careful. Right, there we go. Wow. So we've got ourselves a tractor. Uh, it looks like it needs some work, but we do have ourselves a tractor. That is absolutely fantastic. Get this back to our farm and get it into the workshop. We'll probably leave it on the trailer until I can do some work on it. Leave it on the trailer and uh, and make sure that it's uh, make sure that it's uh, safe to start the engine. I've run the engine about as much as I want to at the moment. Uh, any anything more, and I worry that I'll do damage to it. I think there's a lot of sediment in the tank as well. So uh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do, we'll get that, get that fuel drain out because that's the other thing, is while it started and while it struggled to start with that fuel, uh, I don't know how old that fuel is. So that could very easily have gone off as well. So we will uh, we'll siphon the tank. We'll give it a good once over, give it a, a good refresher, and uh, and hopefully get up up and running again. I want to be careful. Right, there's a log down here that could make it jump out of place. So I want to be careful. Yeah, there it is. We'll go very slowly over this log. Right. Yeah, that could very easily make it jump. So. I think we need to move that log, really. I think we've approached it too slowly. Oh, it shifted about a bit, but we are safely across. That's good. Right, let's get this back to the farm. Get it into the workshop. And we can move forward from there with it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll use this for our sheep. We'll get this up to the sheep area. Uh, get it uh, and, and get it working up there. Oh, no. Ah, oh, that's not good. Oh, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to start it up again. Because at the moment. That's that's just not going to transport back. So, come on. There we go. Oh, okay. Slightly more dangerous. We're going to engage its diff locks and its four wheel drive, and it is working. I wish I had somewhere securing it onto this trailer. Right. Hoping I don't have to start it again. We're going to have to go very carefully. Should be alright once we're off this slope, I think. There we go. Yeah, it would be, it would be good if we were able to lock it on. I 
I don't want to go too fast, but we're going to get it. We're going to get this back now. And, uh, and that's great. We means that we have all of this equipment up here. I think we'll probably... Uh, yeah. It's a good... It's going to be a good set of stuff, this. And this will be useful for when we're doing um, crop stuff as well. Uh, the water trailer is going to be very useful to have up with the uh, with the sheep. Because obviously it's a lot further away. There we go. Right, and our workshop's over here. There we are. Right. So we will leave our trailer in here. We'll we'll put the ramps down just so that we can back it off it. But yeah, that has got it here. No. We don't seem to be able to drop the trailer off with the ramps down. So uh we'll leave the Unimog here. Right, I'm happy with that. That's good. We'll uh, we'll get that sorted out now. And I'm just going to head back this way quickly. And we're going to grab the landy and head back up to our woodland area. See if we can... Uh, well, we might see if we can shift that... Uh, shift that log. But to be honest, I mean, let's, let's cut a few trees. We have... Uh, See if we've got a little bit long, a little while left, but that's good. I'm I'm really pleased we found that. That's awesome. That saved us a whole load of money. That it's probably saved us about twenty thousand pounds. The condition that was that that's it. That's if we can get it running properly, because obviously it's having issues at the moment. But I'm quite happy that that's working. You know that that well seems to be working. Uh, it seems to be that it's not completely seized up. Uh, but I don't want to have to... Yeah, I, I did not want to be driving it then. When that, when that slipped off that trailer then, I did not want to be driving that any further. I'm, uh, I'm glad it didn't completely break down on me. Alright, there we go. Okay. So we've got a few trees in here. I think let's get our bear out and let's cut a few more trees. There we go. Get those loaded up into our trailer. And I want to get, actually, I want to get my logging, uh, my lorry down to the uh, shop. So, um, might as well load these up. Load these up with the skid steer. And, uh, and we'll take the logging trailer back down to the shop. Because that will then be, uh, will be a great use of our time. single one then. Yeah. First. I do like this little skid steer. It's really, really useful in the forest here. Especially with trailer like this. Uh, we'll have to drop the other logging trailer off, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I found with the log 
grabs in this game is that you cannot use them as uh, to slide under. You've got to pick stuff up and do it that way. There we are. There's two. And how much of the rest of this can we get in in one go? It's some fairly thin stuff. Not that much left. I thought I cut more than four. I think I didn't. Oh yeah, I did. I can see a fifth in uh, a fifth one in there. Okay, <laughs> just another single one. bit fast. Right, and just the last one. Or the last pair, I should say. Perfect. Let's not send that flying. Yeah, there we go. So we can take this one down and sell these. And get a little bit more money in. Which will help us to... Uh, well, it will help us to get some more... Uh, to get the sheep and to... Uh, and hopefully to repair our Ford up. So I'm pretty happy about that. That's that's been a productive day now on uh, on here. So really, I think that's a pretty good place to end. We're um, I'll go and I'll probably go and sell these and get this emptied. Uh, but for now, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.